This is our Liberty Walk Z. It's gonna be debuted at the SEMA show in just two days, but we still have to cut, weld, and seal the fenders, and our body kit isn't even painted yet. On top of that, we have a set of custom forged wheels arriving this afternoon that we don't even know if they fit yet. The next step up is to cut the fender so that this thing can lay out. Now let's get to it. Just like that, the fender cut is done on the left front. We're gonna move over to the right front and get these fronts buttoned up. And what's nice is we can now go back and clean all this up. We'll get some paint on it so that these don't rust down the road. They're nice and sealed up. Now we can put our over fenders on when they come back from paint. Final cut, so now we can go back to the drawing board, get our metal cut and placed in here. Ricky's gonna take over that portion of the job. For now, the hard part's done, the cutting. And now we have clearance for our wheel and tire package. Thing can lay out flat on the ground, which is gonna be amazing. Ricky and I have taped off the body. Now we're gonna start putting the kit back on for the final time before it actually goes out to paint using Downstar hardware. So we got all the rib nuts in, we got our box of Downstar, and we're actually gonna mount it just to make sure everything's fit correctly, right? Yeah, I don't think I'm doing this right. Oh yeah, this yeah, is that's it. the right one. Ah. That's the right one. Well, this is the third corner I checked. It's actually bolted now. We don't have clickles everywhere. I also lowered the back by like an inch. Yeah, that's that's proper height. Oh yeah. I want to go lower. I think we should we should lower. Hey, let's wait for the for the wheels and tires first, bro. Yeah, that's okay. That's valid. yeah. Let's that's wait very for that. fair. This though. That I gotta run over to the auto parts store to pick up some seam so we can finish the Z. And while I'm on my way, I'm gonna tell you guys about Peloti. If you've ever wondered what a racing shoe felt like, I'm about to tell you. Peloti is an automotive shoe brand with over 20 years in gearing championship racers. Yes, these are a driving shoe, but they're also great for everyday use. Right now, I'm wearing the Shift shoe. This shoe is not only insanely comfortable, it's also an amazing driving shoe. Peloti has actually added rounded sole edges to the shoe to avoid catching between pedal transitions and a soft forefoot for enhanced pedal feel and feedback. These shoes are an absolute pleasure to drive in. They're nice and stable, nice and firm. It's really good for pedal transitions and daily driving these things is amazing. The shift comes in 10 different colors and they also have a ton of other shoes to choose from. And my favorite part is all of these shoes are handmade in Europe from supple leathers and suede. And they're not just a driving shoe, like I said. If you guys want an amazing and comfortable driving shoe, be sure to check out Peloti. Use code THROTTLE15 for 15% off your order. And huge thank you to Peloti for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the Z. Z is back on the rack. Now it's time to get this body kit completely off and get this thing out to paint. Everything fits real nice. We have the hardware, it looks super dope. Now we need to start plating all of the holes in the fender well. So we're gonna take the body kit off, send this out to paint, and uh, Ricky's gonna get cracking on making those fender wells. I'm gonna start covering the holes that are under the wheel wheels right now, the real quarter panels of the uh, of our Z. I like to always start by taping off the fenders to ensure I do not damage the paint during this process. After many years of installing white body kits, the cardboard template method is my go-to for making these custom wheel wheel tubs. I then take the cardboard to sheet metal, outline it, and cut it to make the final plate. All right, here are both of our plates, and I'm ready to start tacking this thing in the vehicle, and this thing is gonna go by very slowly, just because I don't wanna damage the car, so here we go. And of course, we're using a Lincoln electric power make 210 MP to get the job done. Yeah. 
We'll finish the wide body by applying seam sealer to the welded areas. The seam sealer prevents water from getting in the chassis and it also prevents corrosion over time. It also will add a little bit of sound adding to the area and clean up the overall look if the fenders ever do come off. What we have here is Willa's big brake kit. Now this is specifically for a 370Z or a G37, but we're told that they fit the Nissan Z. So we're gonna find out today, there may be some things we have to do a little bit differently, but these things are massive and they're gonna look insane behind the custom wheels we have coming. First step to getting this Willwood big brake kit on the car is to build the two-piece rotors. I find this to be very therapeutic. These are Willwood's floating two-piece rotors that require assembly. The benefit of a two-piece floating rotor is that they prevent from warping or cracking during excessive heat cycling. If you plan to track your car or even and drive it pretty hard. That makes these a huge advantage over a single piece rotor. The brakes are all tightened down and being a 370Z kit on a new Z, this is pretty impressive. So yeah, fits awesome. Gonna look sick behind our new wheels that are on their way. And the front is now on. We just gotta do the brake lines and the bleed on the front. But we're gonna move on to the back and get the back corners put on first. Then we'll tackle the brake lines, get this thing bled, and we'll be off and running. These brakes went on so easily, you'd have almost thought this was a 370Z. And that's because the majority of the suspension componentry is exactly the same from the new Z to the 370Z. The one place that they differ is the brake lines. That's the only thing different. The brakes are complete, all four corners are done. They fit great, and they're gonna look really badass behind our wheels. Now we're gonna move on. The wheels just showed up for the Z and they're here and everybody's waiting for the camera and I have it right now. This is the day we've been waiting for. Our Motegis have arrived in Liberty Walk wide body Z fitment, which is pretty dang aggressive. So we've got 12 inch rears and 10 and a half inch fronts. Sweet, who called me? Oh, 10 inch front. So I think we open up the rears first. I like the hot stickers on here. Custom hot, paint. Hot, 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 hot. Custom paint. Oh, oh my lord. Holy oh my crap. <laughs> Dude, that's not real. This is a fake. Yo, <laughs> sick. Hey, get your thumb out of the way, Ricky. We can't see the wheel. That's a lip right there. Holy oh my crap. crap. Let me get this out. Hold that looks cool. Oh. This, this could be the sickest wheel that ever left the Motegi wheel factory. That is guaranteed. Yo. That is so sick. How do I order a set of these for my car? What are the wheel specs on this, Mick? 18 by 12 and a half with a four inch backspace. So negative 100 and some millimeters. It's pretty freaking crazy, dude. Look at that lip. It's just gonna look gnarly against the black. <laughs> Dude, that's so Yo, hectic. that's crazy. That is so hectic. I love it. I think, <laughs> dude, this is very impressive. I think this is more impressive than the Supra wheels we got. I think so too. So the cool thing is, is our Falcon tires have already arrived. And they're already sitting over there by the tire machine waiting to be mounted. So we've been waiting for these wheels to show up. I'm gonna go ahead and fire some tires on these things, at least for one side and stick them on. Make sure the cuts that we did on the chassis are good to go. I was just gonna say that. I hope we cut them right, cause this is wide. Pretty sure we did, but. <laughs> I bet the car looks sick. With the wheels and tires yeah. on without the body kit off. Yeah, it's gonna look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? That it was, was only good. the rear. Let's check out the front. Hey, this is the front, are you sure? Yeah, this is a 10 inch front with a three and a half inch. Dude, that still looks insane. Three and a half inch back space. For most people, this would be somebody's rear, yeah. like their rear size. Yeah. A couple of the things I noticed right away about these, like Motegi definitely went with a motorsport styling on this because as you just pointed out, these holes here. Yeah, it's got like speed holes in it. These are just, not like holes. Those are just lightning just, pockets basically. Yeah. And then the shape of the this spokes, really cool. it just removed yeah. any any material that wasn't needed is gone. And these spokes are actually pretty thin in the center. I like that it also has like a concave element to it. It's not yeah, just it the really big cool. lefty bop set wheel. It's, it's a really nice design. Too. And one thing hey, Mick, should... didn't you have something to do with design? You worked with the, uh, the Motegi team directly? Lightweight, yeah. And the, the cool thing is, is like they whipped this design up in a day. Like literally, this is kind of what we're after. And to let the cat out of the bag, there's another version of this wheel coming, which is what I'm excited about. It may have less spokes. It's pretty cool. Uh, but what I like about this is a two-piece weld. You get a really durable wheel. And from the front, it looks like a monoblock. You don't even notice. Right. You can't even see the Yeah, you can't scene. even see the weld insane just pretty cool so it looks like a monoblock wheel in fact if i walked by this at sema and saw it i probably would think it was a monoblock this is actually very japanese style old school j -lit. well there ain't nothing to it but to get these falcon 660s mounted up we're gonna mount up our rt 660s we're running a 315 that is a big tire for a stock power z but the look is insane look at the lip on this wheel it's like bigger that's like just that alone is the size of like a credit card and then you have this additional lip with a j lip on the end Ooh!
kit is back. We're gonna throw it on for the final time. We also got our custom Otegis mounted up with some tires on it so we can actually finish this car. Let's get going. Now it's time to put on the spoiler and you guys know you can see the hardware on this kit. So we wanted something special. So we reached out to Downstar and they sent us the heat. These are titanium bolts, dress up bolts from Downstar. They are not released yet, but they will be releasing on Bolt Friday, which is Black Friday. So this is really gonna add some true flavor to the kit. We have a black kit on a black car and we want something to pop and the titanium will absolutely do the job. These are awesome. Let's get them on the car. Color stands out so nice against the black. I love it. These things are sick. This all dressed up on the whole car. Woo, this thing's gonna be so hot. Kit is fully installed and the titanium hardware looks beautiful. Check this out, guys. I cannot wait to reveal this thing at sea, but the back of the car is absolutely insane. The satin looks super nice. Look at this diffuser! Diffusing all the air down here. <laughs> the satin is awesome. Matches the awesome MagnaFlow tips on our exhaust system. Everything's all coming together now, eh, Quinn? Dude, I love it. It's such a good look. And the throttle tempo plate on here, too. Yeah. It's vibes. Yeah. It gives you that Wangan, like, feel, right? Totally. As good as this car looks, it's gonna look even better with our custom wheels. The Motegi's on here paired with yeah. the Downstar Titanium. Recaro seats on the inside, don't forget Ooh, about those dude, too. This car is turning out insane. This is honestly like one of the more simple builds that we've done, but actually it touches on all the right things. The brakes, the seats. It does. It's, it has the look, the style, the right upgrades and not overboard and crazy. So now it's time to get our wheels on this thing and get this car on the ground and see what it looks like completely aired out. This is the first time we're airing out the car with the freshly painted body kit installed as well as our custom wheels from Motegi. We're gonna take it inch by inch on each corner to make sure that we don't have any contact. The last thing we wanna do is air the car out too fast and run the risk of damaging the body kit. I want to let you guys know that today is your last day. At midnight tonight, we're closing off our double entries to win our 2023 Nissan Z with a Liberty Walk body kit on it, plus $20,000 in cash. Every dollar you guys spend at Thrill.com is going to get you double entries to win this thing, whether that's on car parts or merchandise. Good luck, guys. We'll see you at SEMA. All right, well, we just got the car on the ground. Quinn aired out the suspension. It looks absolutely bonkers. What do you guys think? It looks banana. Look at this. Bro. Oh, Woo! my God. Fitment is insane. The front subframe is literally on the ground. Literally on the ground. We are five. Oh, they can see it, I think. Well, kind of, maybe a flashlight, but. Ricky, the sign black on the Liberty Walk white body kit was the way to go. It, it looks, looks very, it like, looks old great. school, right? It matches the old school 240s Let's from back in the day. Let's look at this subframe. Quinn, show us the light in there. Look at that. 
the seat, man. <laughs> subframe is literally on the pavement. Can't get, can't get any of the look at the front. Look at the front that of the subframe. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> It just laid, we laid the undercheck completely on the ground. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> and these Motegi wheels, I love them. Like, it's just a new wheel design. It's so fresh. That dude. doesn't really remind you of anything, which is really cool. In today's day and age, making a custom wheel that doesn't look like something else is really hard to do. Yeah, agreed. And the titanium hardware. Woo! Yeah. That's good, dude. Had a boy, Frank. I like how it matches the wheels. You see that? Yeah. Adds some really good flavor to the side of the car, too. It's the Caro really chairs nice. that Ricky put in there with heat. Heated seating function? No, this car had no heated seats and now it does, which is badass. Bro, this is insane. Oh, how low it is? Yeah, <laughs> that's insane. I think the front badge needs to go on. I, think it I know that's gonna get met with some resistance. Ricky, what do you think? No, I think the logo should definitely go in the front. Yeah, the front I agree. Model. And the reason is, is because we have it on the back, guys. All the badging is on this car. Quarter panel, the rear badging, the Z on the rear. And I think that is really gonna help tie all this together. So if you guys didn't know, we're gonna debut this car at the SEMA show on October 31st on Halloween. If you are out in Vegas for the SEMA show, definitely stop by the Hoonigan area out front because this car is gonna be on display for you guys to check out. And we'll also be out there periodically as well. We also have a couple meet and greets set up at the SEMA show, one with WD-40 and one with Meguiar's. So if yep. you guys are at the show, keep an eye out on our socials. We will be posting about that. You guys can come by and shake our hands and uh, have a chat. Yeah, We look Can't forward to, to that every year. Yeah, Definitely wanna sure. talk about cars. For sure. So that's gonna be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you guys so much. Let me know down in the comments what you think of our newly completed Z. We have a few things left, but the car's pretty much done. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Ah! Hit him with all